So, first of all, thank you so much for uh, Andre and Alexis for leading us through that beautiful meditation practice. Um, much appreciated. Um, all right. To get started, we're just going to find a position, like I said, that is comfortable for you. So whether that's lying down, seated on the couch, standing up, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So we're just going to start with some observations. Taking a second to just find a, a place for you. I'm going to start standing. You can have your eyes closed. You can have your eyes open. Um, just kind of bring it to a relaxed, a relaxed gaze if you choose to keep your eyes open throughout this. So as you're in your position, lying down, seated, standing, <clears throat> just take a moment to kind of observe where your body is right now. Um, are your shoulders a little roll forward? Um, is your chin a little down? Are you kind of looking around? Are you holding one specific focus? And like I said, we're just observing. We're not observing to change. We're just observing to notice and to just kind of do a self-check-in. Is your heart rate, heart, rate, heart rate going super fast? Or is it slow? Did we just wake up? Have we had our coffee yet? If you're standing, notice where your weight is distributed between your feet. Are you all the way back in your heels? Are you in the balls of your feet, the outsides, the insides? Like I said, don't change it, just observe. If you're lying down, notice what parts of your body are hitting the floor and notice which parts are lifted. Which parts can air pass under? And which parts of your body gravity is fully taking. Same thing if you're seated. Now keeping this observation present, we're just going to start with a nice self massage. We're going to start with our head and we're going to work ourselves or work our way all the way down. We're just gonna start on one side of our body, right or left. Um, if I say right and it's your left, I'm, I apologize. The camera is flipped, <laughs> and I will I will get it backwards at times. Um, so I'm gonna start with my right side. Let's just start both hands massaging the scalp. Along the way, if you find any kinks that need to be worked out, by all means, take the time to get that worked out. Send it some extra love. Any sore muscles, any cricks in your neck. Now, after we massage our scalp, let's work our way to the base of our skull, or those bones that stick out behind our ears. Those big bony landmarks back here. And just give that some some love. I like to do spidery fingers and just like push with little taps all the way down. Work your way down your neck here. I feel like a lot of us have probably been holding some tension right here. So let's just spend a little extra time giving the back of our neck and our upper shoulder some extra love because they deserve it right now. <laughs> nice. Bringing those hands forward. This feels a little funny, but just give the front of your neck some love. And we're going to work our way up to the jaw. Getting in those creases right in front of the ears when you open your mouth. It creates that empty space. Right in that empty space. Just start sending love all over. Cheekbones, nose, eyebrows. I know this feels silly, but it also feels really good after. <laughs> all 
All right, from here, we're gonna move to one side. Like I said, I'm gonna start with my right side. So just using your left hand, massage your right shoulder. I'm keeping my spider fingers, it feels really nice. You can get a nice pinch too. If you take your full hand and grab up on top of your shoulder, you can kind of pull that muscle up and it releases a lot of tension right here. Kind of like pulling the skin, the fascia, the muscle away from that bone. And work it into the shoulder. And just go all the way down this arm. Um, some nice squeezes, some spider fingers. Honestly, some slaps feels nice. Just working through your right or left arm, whichever you started with. And once you get down to the wrist, take a few circles with that wrist and kind of massage it as you move it around. Dig your thumb into your palm. That also feels really nice. Keep the fingers relaxed and just kind of, you can either do a little push like this or some circular motions. And I'm gonna work my, my um, left hand down each one of my fingers on my right side. Just giving a nice pull and release at the end. And I'm gonna bring it under my armpit and get all those muscles on my right side underneath my arm. It's easy to forget about all these little places. Tension gets built up in places that we, most of the time, don't even realize. Moving down to your side, your hips, in your hip creases, upper quad, glutes, sending love all down that one side of your body. And try to think about too, whenever you're massaging, whatever muscle you're massaging, try to think about not necessarily gripping that muscle at the same time. I noticed I was just doing that with my calves. So try to relax the muscle completely before you send it some love. Work your way down to your ankles. And if you wanna go for your feet, all power to you. That's not really my jam. All right, once you've worked your way down all one side of your body, just take a moment and we're gonna check in again. Like I said, whether you're lying down, seated, standing, all of this is completely up to you. But let's just take a moment and kind of observe the difference between each side. My right side feels a little lighter, a little more energized. Kind of has like a tingly sensation <laughs> compared to the left. My left still feels like I just woke up and haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> All right. We can start with the scalp again. Moving a little quicker, just a nice massage. Back of the neck. Top of the shoulders. Jaw bones. Cheekbones, eyebrows, nose. I apologize for my text messages coming through. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a pretty loud ding. Now working our way down our other side of the body, whichever side you didn't do yet. Shoulder. Just sending love to your shoulders. And bring back that nice pinching action, pulling away that muscle, fascia, and skin away from the bone. And 
working our way down our arm. Some nice squeezes. Kind of feels like we're kneading dough, pizza dough or something. And into the wrist. Bring in some circles. And working our way into the palm of our hand, we can do some nice specific presses or circular motions. And going down each finger. We're gonna work our way back up into the armpit, under the armpit. Down our side. Finding the spaces between our ribs. Sending love all down the side of the body. And the hip creases, around the hip bones, hip socket, our glutes, top of the hamstring, or sorry, quad and hamstring. And taking a moment to just observe again. Eyes closed, eyes open, soft gaze. Feeling a little more awake, a little loose, a little warm. Now I invite everyone to stand up. And as we find ourselves standing, I'm just gonna talk through um, isolation, like isolating one body part at a time and just really focusing on moving one body part at a time and kind of working our way, once again, down our body. So let's just start with the head. Once we're all standing, we can just start with a really soft nod. Really soft. Don't force any crazy movement. A soft shake of the head, no. Or just side to side. And a nice tilt. Once again, don't force anything too far. Just a soft movement. And from here, we're just gonna take some really juicy, really slow high rolls in both directions. I'm gonna do two in each direction. Now from here, I'm going to move into my shoulders by just lifting them up and down. I'm just going to alternate.
and I'm going to start moving them front and back. And adding in some circles. And reverse those circles. And moving it into the elbows, we can start with just big circles initiated by the elbows. We could even just do one arm at a time, circling around that one point here and reverse. And bring it into the wrist, bring our circles back in the wrist, both directions. And other side. Reverse. Bringing it into the wrist. And reverse. Now let's make this travel into our ribs. And if you need to kind of find your ribs by physically touching them, go for it. It's kind of a weird position to tune into. We don't normally initiate any movement specifically from our rib cage. So I'm just going side to side, thinking of trying to keep it as flat as possible instead of a um, little diagonal movement. All is fine though. And front and back. to feel really nice. It's kind of like a massage for all of your inner, inner organs, <laughs> inner things going on. And if you want to bring it to a circle, this is also a really nice, feel good movement. And I'm gonna reverse. And I'm gonna bring it into my hips and just bring a nice swaying side to side motion. And this could get as small or big as you'd like. <laughs> you can take some circles. And reverse. Nice, and moving into our knees. I'm just gonna do one at a time. This could be circles, figure eights, anything you'd like, just really Focusing on bringing in some movement directly into this joint here. And switch sides. And bringing that down into the ankles. I don't know if my ankles are in the shot. There we go. Just some circles in both directions. Some points and flexes. Some shakes. <laughs> Just taking one more moment to check in. Noticing if our body is feeling a little more awake or if we're still feeling a little stiff. Let's just take both arms, reaching in a big circle, we're going to start reaching up and imagining we're pulling ourselves up, one of those really intense, intimidating ropes. I've never had a PE class that made me do this, but you know, we've all seen it in the movies. We can just imagine that we're pulling ourselves up this huge rope, never ending rope. And really thinking about not letting our shoulders come up to our ears as we pull, 
but more so just like lengthening out our obliques, the sides of our body here. Nice. From here, grabbing one of your wrists, we're going to pull that side a little bit over and just indulge in this for a second. Try to think about keeping your hips stacked over your feet and sending, like I'm stretching my right side right now, I'm thinking about sending my right hip down into the ground. So I'm not letting it hike up with me. Just creating a nice length between my hip and my shoulder joint and my wrist. And shake it out. And grab the other side. Same thing. Nice little stretch over. You really don't have to reach too far to fill all of it on your side. And from here, let's just start creating some big circles with our arms. And you can have the focus following. And now that we've gotten to like a little rhythm with our arms, let's see if we can match our breath. So on the up, we'll inhale, going down, we'll exhale. Finding a nice rhythm. And this can be as slow or as fast as you'd like. Now, keeping this circular motion, let's start to add our knees into the picture, creating just a little bounce. And after we get our knees synced into a rhythm that we created, let's see if we can drop a little bit lower whenever we bend and allow our heels to come off the ground just like an inch. So gradually we're just working our way closer to the floor. And like I said, this could be as slow or as fast as you'd like. And once we got a little bit lower, and once our heels started to come off the floor a few times, whoop, let's see if we can go all the way down to all the way back up, really creating this major uh, level change here. And you can play around with how your spine reacts to these level changes. Either you can initiate more so like a ripple or wave effect, or you can tuck the chin and roll down and then unroll back up. Whichever you feel comfortable with. Nice. We'll bring that to a soft close. My arms are feeling a little tingly. All right, from here. From here. Bring that to a nice close. Either side, we're gonna extend one leg forward. I don't know if I'm in the shot or not. Let me see what my, how far I have to go for my feet to be in the shot. There we go. So just whichever leg, we're gonna just extend it forward. And just checking in with all of our specific points. And really noticing if our standing leg starts to kind of shake a little bit. Noticing what we're doing in our body to create a stable balance. 
and let's carry it side. One thing that really helps to think about, uh, that helps when balancing, something I like to think about, is um, imagine you have a really tall or high-waisted pair of jeans on, and you zip that up as high as they can go. So think about engaging from your cubic bone all the way up and carry it back if you haven't yet. And bring your feet together. Shake out that standing leg. Waking up the core just a little bit. Now let's bring it forward again. And this time we're gonna try to throw ourselves off. So as we move through this half circle motion with our leg, just bring your arms in all kinds of fun directions. You can allow it to affect your upper body and see if you can throw yourself off your own balance. Kind of fires that core a little bit more, fires that standing leg a little bit more and bring it side. Moving your arms in all directions. This feels super silly, I know. Just trying to throw yourself off. Noticing what your body does as a reaction when it loses its balance. <laughs> and carry it back. Nice, and shake it out. Bring it together. Shake out that standing leg. Third round, last round on the right side. Bring your leg forward. And this time, just change your focus. And see how that... Whew, see how that can change your balance. It's a little, a little difficult. Constantly change and be curious about your space. I'm sure everyone's at home and feels super familiar with their surroundings. But try to, in this moment, find something that you haven't seen before or noticed before. And carry the leg side. And back. Still looking around. And if you want to add a little extra, try to look behind you. <laughs> and shake it out. And we're going to do everything like that on the left side. Or other side. Bring the leg forward. Without anything going on up here, just noticing. Noticing what's going on. Here, and here, here, and here. Are we kind of staring at our legs and our feet? Bring it side. And notice, whenever you carry your leg around, what muscles in your standing leg fire differently, or more or less or whatever. And bring it back. Nice. Then shake it out. Going back to the front, add in the upper body and the arms. Moving in all directions. You're just trying to throw yourself off and carry it side. And back. And nice, check it out. Last round, third round. Our leg forward, adding in the focus change. And carry it side. And back. Nice, shake it out, check it out. Finding our neutral standing position again. Same idea of tucking our chin that we brought out earlier. We're gonna tuck our chin. And imagine a fruit roll up or anything that can curl into itself. As we move slowly down, pay attention to, paying attention to each vertebrae all the way down your spine. As we roll down, 
and letting each one move by itself or imagining each one moving by itself. And once we finish our point, our lowest point here, we can either let the hands come to the floor, we can grab opposite elbows, and let's just hang out for a second. Relax the neck. You can shake your head yes, shake your head no. And give the knees a generous bend and rolling back up. And we're gonna go back down, do it again. Thinking of that fruit roll up idea, constantly rolling in and curling in on itself until we reach our point our lowest point, either the hands being on the ground, grabbing the opposite elbows, or even just letting the hands rest on the legs. And from here, we're going to take a couple steps out with our hands, and we're going to generously lower our knees all the way to the ground here. I don't know if I'm in the shot. I'll turn sideways. So from here, we're going to give our spine a nice massage by creating these, these shapes, I like to um, also add in some circles, imagining the head and tail being connected here. Now this definitely feels silly, but it also feels really good. Now from here, Either side, doesn't matter. We're going to reach one arm up and we're going to spiral it under, under um, our opposite arm and just let our shoulder and head come all the way to the floor here and kind of relax in this shape in this position and let the spine naturally twist and stretch out for a second. And coming back up, we're going to do the opposite side. Reach up this arm here, hold it under this hole right here, underneath your opposite arm, and just letting it, letting your shoulder, your head, your arm, just relax on the floor. This feels really good in your lower back. It's a nice stretch for your lower back. And coming back up to all fours here. Sending one leg back, we're going to just create a little rocking motion, pushing through the ball of our foot. And this would feel really nice in that hip flexor, in front of the hip that's extended. In front of the hip with the leg that's extended <laughs> here. And whenever you feel ready, we're just going to switch legs. Now throughout us um, moving in this all fours position, some things to think about when we're just in a neutral position here is keeping our wrist underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. From here, we're just going to send one leg forward and bring our upper body up here. Now from here, really thinking of creating those right angles again. So ankle under knee, knee in line with hip, knee under hip, and so on. Now from here, what feels really nice is just this subtle change of looking down while we're in this position here. It really stretches all of these muscles, tendons, and everything in front of the hip bone your hip flexor and everything like that, it feels really nice. And if you're feeling a little extra, or feeling like you want a little extra, extend that front leg here with a flex foot and let the upper body hang over, getting a nice hamstring stretch here. And bringing it back down, or back together, and just switch legs. Bring the opposite leg in front, and just looking down, feeling this stretch all in front of this hip flexor and hip bone. 
and extending that front leg, letting the upper body hang over. You can have a flexed foot or just completely relaxed, totally up to you. And bringing the knees back together. From here, we're just gonna tuck our toes and push up and we're gonna all meet in a downward dog if we're feeling up to it. And tread out our feet, just pushing one heel a little further into the ground. Or if you just want to hold this downward dog and take a few breaths here. And we're going to let those knees melt back to the ground. We're going to walk our hands a little bit closer. And we're going to roll back up. One last time, tucking the chin, or taking a moment, <laughs> tucking the chin, rolling all the way back down. We're gonna walk our hands out. I think I'm gonna turn sideways so y'all can see. Walk my hands out to a nice plank here. And letting all of these muscles fire a little bit. This is the first plank I've done in probably way too long. Create a nice rocking motion with the heels. Keeping our wrists under our shoulders our head in line with our spine. We're not looking down here at our feet and we're not looking in front of us. Just a little forward and down. Now, if you wanna test your balance here, add a little extra, keep the heels still and just lift one hand for a second and switch. Okay. And walking the hands back to the feet. Generous bend in the knees. And rolling all the way up. Taking a moment. Checking in a little bit further. And from here. And from here. We're just going to create a nice rhythmic motion. We're going to start to build up our heart rate just a tad. So my feet are just going side together, side together. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of arm reaches here. We're going to keep adding in a little more layers to this movement. Now let's reach across, twisting the spine and you can speed this up or slow it down and reaching down towards that leg. And bringing back this half circle motion with just a little bit of a small kick. Front, side, back, and we'll switch. Front, side, back, switch. If you want to add in some front arms, get a little groove going. I don't have any music on, so it's kind of hard to, we can create our own rhythm. If you want a little extra, you can speed it up, you can hold it right here, or you can add a jump when we come together. And if you want to add a little extra, <laughs> you can add a jump for each motion. So add a jump or a little hop with each kick. your fun inner rhythm. Let's do four more. All right, 
cooling it down, bringing in these nice circles once again. Whew. Tracking the breath with these motions. Inhale coming up, exhale coming down, and we'll meet with our arms at the to the side, <laughs> creating one straight line across. And we're going to add in a little twist here. It's like airplane blades or something that initiates movement in a horizontal pattern or shape. So I'm thinking about in this little twist, keeping my knees and my hips straight forward and not letting this happen. So I'm just rotating from my ribs up here. And let's bring this back to a neutral position facing the front, bringing in our big circles again. This is just a nice, really nice transition, keeping the body moving. And we're gonna start to wrap up by bringing in our breath again with these circular motions. And we're going to let it just die down naturally on its own. And this can just naturally fall into neutral, however feels comfortable to you. And once we found our neutral position here, Really check in again. Same thing we did in the beginning. Checking in with the breath, checking in with the heart rate, with the alignment, and just noticing. And if you had your eyes closed, you can blink open, have a soft gaze. Thank you guys so much for sharing this practice and moving with me this morning. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, tune in all day long. We have so many things happening today. So many beautiful people putting in their beautiful work all day long. It's really incredible. We're going to have some giveaways right after this, actually, there's our first giveaway. Check out the Instagram Live. We have, um, oh, and for the giveaway, <laughs> for the giveaway, um, you can post anything on Instagram, Facebook, um, and just hashtag remotely rejected. It can be any kind of post you'd like. It can be a selfie, it can be a picture of some art you've been working on, anything that has been inspired by today would be beautiful. Anything, anything really, anything you'd like. <laughs> and all you have to do is just hashtag remotely rejected and you'll be entered into the giveaway. We're doing three. The next, the first one is right after this on Instagram Live. So be sure to tune in for that. Um, and up next we have uh, so many, <laughs> so many people that are just, it's just beautiful. We have Kim Collada doing some regenerative agri regenerative agriculture. I can't even I can't even talk right now. We have Corman and Bryson doing some digital drawing. We have Elizabeth McNabb doing some moving images and sounds. And just the list goes on and on. A good friend of mine. I'm gonna skip a few. So sorry, just for time. A good friend of mine, Emma Morris in Atlanta, um, doing a nice artist talk on dance and choreography. Be sure to tune in for that. Tune in for everything, guys. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Thank y'all so much. Uh, and looking forward to seeing you again online. I'll be teaching a basic uh, hip-hop footwork class. Should be kind of fun. It's just going to be a half hour long at uh, 2 p.m. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Thank y'all so much.